everyone. Today we will be doing another stream of Emerald Woods. This is a game currently in development. I'm going to show you the in dev version of the game. It's about chilling in the woods, but the best part is that you can make the experience your own. If you want this to be a game with adventure and mystery, you can do that. You can start exploring the woods, catching animals, and trying to unravel the mystery of the Emerald Woods. Or you can just chill on your own cottage and live a quiet life in the woods. My name is Stoltberg and I will be your host today, next week, the week after. <laughs> you get the drill. So, let's begin. I'll give you a few seconds to bask in the music and sound effects. This is a pretty lively forest, and you'll see why that's important in a couple of minutes. So, we already have a little cottage here. It has a beautiful wooden floor, beautiful wooden walls. Please note that this is style-based, and its base is in ASCII. If you check the game in each I.O., you may not see the same thing. But I want you to check how we have managed to include certain transparencies in the game. All these blocks, the walls, many, I mean the walls, are one tile each. However, we can just walk behind them. It's still the same block. But this allows us to make beautiful things like this. So let's start getting some wood because we are going to need <clears throat> a zoo so we can breed our animals and keep them and observe them. And we are going to need also fences for our farms because we will need several farms or this is going to be to become unbearably big. And also because, well, animals like to eat crops. And as you can see, we got some carrot seeds to plant. So, oh, let me show you this. So right now I have the pickaxe selected. However, I'm just going to bump and it auto selects the axe. And this is true for most things in game. Start moving up to trees. I'm too tired, but I don't want to return to my cottage yet. After all, it's just the middle of the morning, so I'm just going to relax and take a nap here in the middle of the woods. Now, let's seek another one. I'm feeling lazy today. Okay, awesome. So of course, it's better to sleep on a bed, but well, sometimes you don't want to. Furthermore, you can find sleeping bags 
while exploring. So in the future, you won't even need that bed. However, you will need this beautiful fire. Or you might get sick if you sleep through the night. Let's see, it's getting late. It won't allow us to sleep yet. Ah, why not? Let's just sleep until next day. We are pretty hungry. Luckily, we can eat several mangoes. I'm aiming to get 50 wood before starting anything. That's my goal. By the way, the beautiful human being on top of me is the main developer. I'm just a minion, so any questions you have that I may not be able to answer, go ahead and ask. I don't see any beautiful being, but here I am. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm here at the chat. Uh, welcome, Berserker and Kenta from Mastodon. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions about the game. We are happy to answer them. So, we have a first question from Kenta. I hope that's the right way to pronounce it. Uh, and let me just highlight that here. Well, uh, yeah, I, I don't think this is going to be very difficult to grasp, like Cataclysm, um, Dark Days Ahead. But yeah, it does share some, some uh, elements with that one. In this one, we are really aiming to have a very uh, straightforward game where it's very easy to play and and like uh, gradually get all the different aspects and actually if you want to just chill and make a farm and leap from the from your crops you can do that there's not going to be anything attacking you or pushing you to die or something like that uh, but if you want to venture inside uh, into the woods and into the mountains well you're going to find some mysteries that i don't want to spoil and you may get into danger but that's going to come later we haven't developed that part uh, a lot right now so far so yeah it's going to be uh, different from cataclysm for sure We have another question. Is there going to be a weather system? Yes, it's going to be. There's going to be a weather system and also seasons. And actually, we're going to introduce a. Well, besides the normal seasons, we're planning to introduce a fifth season, which is going to be crazy. Um, and it's going to be optional because you'll also going to be able to uh, select or customize your game when you're starting. Um, and if, of course, we'll uh, also make it much more important to shelter because right now, as, as it has happened in some of the videos that we did uh, earlier this week, uh, it was kind of easy to just explore without any boundaries. Also, uh, Stolber ultimately died in one of the playthroughs, but yeah, uh, when, when we have rain and stuff like that in place, uh, it's going to be much more important to find shelter um to protect yourself or create a small shelter in a cavern or or a small house uh so yeah definitely is going to be there and yeah continue if you want solver with your adventure i will interrupt you if i see any question popping up in the chat please do Now, I want to remind everyone that this is an in-dev version. This is not the version you will be able to play right now. However, you can play the game for free, and it's going to keep being free for a while. 
So you can check it out at each I.O. Okay, so, oh, well, that's my attention span for you. So I was making this whole farm to farm and I forgot to plant. Oh, no. Okay, so, hmm. Well, I'm already fatigued, so whatever. Not like I had plans for the day or anything. So, I didn't recover as much fatigue as I could because, of course, I didn't have any dinner. Just like real life. Currently using the work mode. As you can note, as you can see, I can either move instantly and phase the direction I'm moving, or I can activate work mode. And the first time I press a direction key, I'm going to look and point first. Run out of cards, so I'll have to wait. In the meantime, I think I'll do a very small soup for setting out to explore. I'm missing some wood. ready to go and explore the world. From time to time I think I'll chop wood because I need another 50 stack to make a raft. Of course. Ah, oh, enough. Oh, I forgot. I need to eat dinner before going to sleep. So I'm going to go grab a branch. Of course, I cannot cook a live animal, so let's sacrifice it. Uh, 
and roast it. So, right now, of course, the recipe list is pretty empty. However, as you can see, you can still make many different dishes, and all the dishes require not only different ingredients, but also provide uh, a different amount of nutrition and may even allow you to recover some fatigue. When you die, you die. <laughs> Just like in real life, it goes black. No, it doesn't go black. It's going to tell you that you died and, well, you have to restart the game. So try not to die. However, dead while being permanent is pretty hard to achieve. Yeah, it took all my force of will to die last week and all my lack of having an attention span. So um, yeah, it's pretty hard to die. However, we have many ways for you to recover health. You, we can have some berries. Some berries are special and allow you to recover health. Um, resting with a full stomach also allow you to recover health. And well, we will provide more methods to recover health. Additionally, it's well hard to lose health for now. As I said at the start of the stream, maybe you weren't connected yet. Mm, the idea is for the player to tailor their own experience. So if you want to chill, you pretty much don't have to worry about health. Maybe getting sick from time to time, and that's it. However, if you want to go explore and play Indiana Jones and unravel the mysteries of, the, of these woods, which I'm going to showcase uh, today, um, you will have to deal with your health. Traps and monsters. However, enemies in Emerald Woods are not your traditional enemies. It's, they are not going to seek you out and attack you without a good reason. It's entirely on the personality of the player and their play style, how the game is going to react. We have designed some systems not yet in place that are going to, well, trick the player to think as the player instead of the character and, well, according to your actions and how your personality is, we're going to present you with different challenges. That sounded so technical. <laughs> no, but I, I believe that that's accurate. I think uh, we will mainly have the like different areas. I, I think you, you can uh, say that that is one of the ways that we're going to make it easier for the players to, to understand the game. Like if you stay in the area around your house, you can build some good farm around it and have fun. And actually, since uh, the, the theme of the game is that it's pretty open, but it is about you escaping the city and just deciding to live in these woods on your own without anyone bothering you or telling you what to do, you can just do that. Uh, we're going to be adding more activities, more fun activities um, for you to do if you decide to follow that path. But if you want to explore, and um, you are going to be able to uh, go to more dangerous areas because in these woods, uh, some stuff happened in the past. And maybe you will not notice that if you stay just around that cabin, that abandoned cabin that you found. But if you start digging more into the world, uh, you will start like uh, unveiling some, some stuff. And that may take you to some dangerous areas. That, and in this area, you will need to be prepared um, to, to survive. Um, but yeah, going a little bit in deep into the combat system and how, how you can die. Right now, the, the way that you can die if, is if you are too careless and you just don't take care of yourself and sleep in the woods 
uh, for too many days in a row you start getting sick and you are going to die. Uh, we don't want to go like full simulation is with different kinds of diseases or uh, better detailed uh, damage uh, or yeah like sickness system uh, because yeah that's not really what we want to go into uh, but yeah that's how you can die right now if you don't sleep in your bed too often or if you don't make campfires uh, but just stay there in the in the in the in the wilderness sleeping that's going to make you die um, but in the future and talking about this uh, dangerous location that's going to be appearing there um, we are actually not going to have a very detailed combat system or or a character development system experience level we are not going to have any of that it's going to be mostly about preparing yourself for those journeys so you'll have to craft uh, some equipment to uh, incapacitate or to uh, eliminate the threats that you're going to find or to protect yourself or recover yourself that's mostly how it's going to work uh, it's going to be mostly about crafting equipment and stuff uh, to before going into these dangerous locations uh, so you can survive I'm lost so this is actually perfect. Yeah, yeah, I intended getting lost. So, take a look at the upper left corner. You'll see that it says Cabin 1 to the southeast. It's actually part of an orientation system. Internally, we have been discussing if adding a mini-map uh, is a good idea. I am a proponent of no mini-map. I think these orientation system is enough. However, we are open to suggestions, of course. After all, we may be designing the game, but ultimately, it's going to be mainly you guys who are going to play it. So, if you have any suggestion about the orientation system, maybe you don't like it, Please let us know. Um, I just said I'm lost, but I just can't stop myself from exploring and gathering some dongos, nuts, and muscarias. So, getting late, it's getting hard. To <gasps> Give me. So, these are the animals I told you about. So, you'll see that they don't have common names. These are not your cats, your dogs. Mm. They are... Hmm, how to describe them? Currently, they are fake -mons, right? But they don't have special abilities they will have a special qualities okay every animal is going to have a different behavior different uh, preferred habitats and foods right now they are just like bags of meat and pokemons mm. however i'm very very excited to find an animal because if we find two of them we can begin breeding them crafting a map hmm that could be a great idea we would have to think about the recipe for the crafting recipe for that mm, there has to be something that you can persist or receive after you die isn't it so Berserker, that's actually a pretty exciting discussion. We could spend days discussing what's a roguelike and what's a roguelite. In my opinion, what you are describing is more a quality of roguelite, which is meta progression. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh... We could easily discuss that for hours, that's, that's true. Um, 
recently, yeah, I understand his question because meta progression is currently being associated a lot with roguelikes, whereas uh, historically it was completely the opposite. Um, so yeah, to answer the question, uh, there is no meta progression in Emerald Woods right now. We are, we are not planning to add that. Every session is brand new, completely new. Um, so yeah, it's, it's more like a sandbox because every time you play, as and as we have mentioned uh, several times already, you can decide how you want to play. But uh, still, there are there is like a plot or at least something that you have to discover. So it's not entirely like open-ended. Uh, you still have some goals that you can uh, pr pursue to to complete or to discover. There's some other inter interesting question here from Kenta. It's Kenta. Do players gain skills? So right now they don't. Uh, but uh, like carpentry and some other stuff, we are planning to add crafting stations that you have to find um, and that you need in order to craft some some things, right? Um, so yeah, that that's like a, since the gameplay is mostly oriented to discovering stuff, to exploring and discovering stuff, rather than um, how, what's that word? Like, uh, I always forget this word. <laughs> we were discussing this just this morning, like, uh, oh, help me here, Stolberg. When I you are, like, am... killing a lot of monsters just to get experience points. What's that? How do you call that? Uh, well, no, it's like, uh, um, crap, I forgot the name. Anyways. We, we don't intend the player to have to repeat uh, something too many times in order to progress. Ah, in... Grinding. Yeah, grinding. <laughs> you say it me. Um, so there is no skill tree, no, no, no experience points or skill points actually. But it's mostly about finding your means to, uh, to be able to survive. Uh, so yeah, for example, finding a carpentry station could be considered like having acquired that skill of being able to craft some uh, some more advanced things that require that. And of course, yeah, the this is what we ask ourselves every time: how we make it challenging to explore without the danger of monsters lying around. Um, there's still going to be some dangerous animals, but it's not going to be like something super, super uh, present every time. And uh, right now, well, this, it's the the difficulties that you can find while exploring are just uh, your fatigue, your hunger. That is like uh, what currently prevents you from fully exploring the world without anything uh, stopping you. Uh, so you have to rest, you have to keep finding food uh, and you need to grow food or find forage food uh, to explore the, the land and oh you have you found something there Stolbert yes. and it's pretty big I've never seen one this big but... <laughs> oh. So you can see here in this description what we intend to add to the game. For example, the rune chest. Once you befriend the rune chest, you'll be able to ride on its bag and sleep. Think of a rune chest as an oversized kangaroo. Now, we'll have three different steps. Uh, taming or befriending animals so you can befriend them tame them and make them your pets pets are the only ones that can learn tricks and every different animal that can become a pet will be able to learn different tricks and yes of course you can pet them Uh, 
Seems uh, that like the entrance is on the water, so I one. What? Okay. I'll have to break it in. Whoa, nice. So, you can make your own seeds from crops you uh, you plant, right? However, most seeds you'll have to find while while exploring, especially berry bushes seeds. And berries are pretty overpowered. It's actually been quite a challenge to balance them because berries have many different effects. They can heal you, they can help you stay awake, they can stay hunger, you can use them to make paint, actually getting oh no hmm oh I actually need to oh my it's it's a huge building so actually I'm going to have to make several trips so let's make a Oh no, what am I missing? Of course, stone. Mm. What to do? Oh, okay. I don't want to leave. I'm afraid everything is going to be lost. I need stone. Yes. No! Okay, so I shouldn't do this, but yeah, yeah, I know. Well, luckily, I didn't get sick. At least I'm getting stung. Now I can set campfire in this wooden structure, which of course is a great way to go around. Now this is an avocado. Avocado. Yeah, avocado. No awesome. No. In Oh, amber berries. Amber berries are the rarest of berries and the most powerful berries. Let's see what else can I grab here? That's carrot seed. We'll check those in a second. Right now, I need energy to return home. Plant all these new things. And return. Or That's the biscuit. No! I need that tortoise. Why? I need it. 
Yeah, I don't think you have cooked anything in this session, have you? Yeah, I have. I cooked uh, several roasted nuts. Ah, right, right, right. roasted uh, liquor tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't run away. I need to eat you. All right, we have three, three questions here. Are you Jesus walking on the water? What do you think? While I am divine, <laughs> uh, no, I am not godly. I was using the raft. We have yet to make the graphics for the raft while that's using correct. it. Mm. Yeah, that's something was... that <clears throat> you are just missing. <laughs> ah, you got the tartux. Yeah, and now I can make tartux soup. A tortux is not a turtle or a tortoise, so it's ethically allowed. That sounds fair. <laughs> There's another question here. Ah, this is a perfect question for you, Stolberg. Without spoiling a lot. Can you answer that? Uh, come again? Uh, the yeah, there's a there's a question, and without spoiling a lot, I, I wonder if ah. you can answer that. Mm -hmm. Is there going to be some sort of lore for people to find? Yes. So I'm actually the narrative designer for the game. Mm, there's lore, but not a plot. Mm, I drew inspiration from sources like Dark Souls. Uh, I want to allow the player to ignore the narrative. As uh, Jeff Bogle once said, the best video game stories are the ones the player can ignore. So those notes I showed earlier that I'm going to show you and read them with you are lore bits. We're going to have Mm, audio tapes, video tapes, everything of of course is text based. Mm, uh, newspaper articles, uh, letters, um, corporate memos. Because well, there is a, cor a corporation, of course, um, and many other fun things. The idea is for the player to piece together what happened here. Think of the player as an archaeologist. Again, this is optional. If you want to just chill, you can do that. If you can, if you want to ignore the plot, you can do that. But it will help you to understand what's going on on the side, the Emerald Woods. Yeah, I'm not sure if did we already find a cabin in this gameplay? Yeah, besides the big a one, huge cabin. But yeah, but I don't think uh, in the big one there was any note, was there? Yeah, any... it, it's full of notes, but also oh, okay. seats, okay. so I'll have to make it. Alright, so yeah, uh, this is something that we actually already started implementing. Um, but we will, uh, and it will, it's going to be available on this new version that is going to probably be out tomorrow. But we are still uh, diving into that and adding more content that the player is going to be able to discover to piece together this story of what happened in these woods. So yeah, there's a, there's a lore for the player to find. Another question, uh, can't you mark this as your new ham, home somehow? I will answer this one because maybe it's not very clear, and I'm not sure even if Stolberg... Oh, well, he knows. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. So, as I said before, we can use the Orient command to cycle through waypoints, so to speak. That's the system we have instead of a map. It's still pretty in design, so we'll see how it goes. But for now, yes, if I press O, if you check the top left corner of the screen, it, right now it says Genko Office. 
and this was a mistake of mine. So it automatically marked the huge office. Genko is the name of the corporation. I'll show you more of that lore in a couple of minutes. But yeah, for now, know that that huge building is at the southwest. And if I cycle again, my cabin is to the east. To the east. And if I cycle again to the southwest, we have the campfire I made. So yeah, I can move to that place and start living there if I want to. But I don't know. I, I find that my little cute cabin is enough. I, I kind of like these little living spaces. I find them to be charming. So, I'm and just starving. Yeah. <laughs> but eat some carrot or something. I'm trying to decide how to plant the berries because you can't walk over the berries. So, if I don't distribute them in a smart way, I won't be able to move. I guess the top row is a great place. The great way, the great thing about berry bushes is that I can just plant them and keep harvesting them. Can I become a caveman? Yes, you can. You can live inside the caves if you want to. I haven't shown them yet this session. I will show you some caves. I have enough enough dongos to pass with the next mission of exploration. Oh, we have two. Did I leave two? Huh. I don't know. Did you? I don't remember. Well, <laughs> that's the case, and they are continuously breeding. That's something to be fixed, but for now, for me, it's something you know, to be exploited. Yeah, these fences are not very protected, so maybe one of them just go there in the night and breed. So, I'm already kind of lost. Okay, Campfire 2 to the southwest. Oh. around these mountains and if I see a cave entrance I'll show it to you guys. I could have found the cave. So while you get there, I will uh, comment about uh, in the HUD we now have like a list of possible achievements or possible missions. Uh, the idea is that these are going to be, when you create a new game, you're going to be able to choose which ones you want to seek. So just just so you can keep track of, of that. Right now there's like three uh, of them, capturing at least one of each type of animal. 
finding the abandoned offices which actually he already completed and grow one of each crop um, the idea is that if you want you can just dismiss the, this or you will be able to pick from a list of achievements so, so you can have like a goal if you want for that gameplay session so I just made this cave well it was generated but it was closed so I opened the way I'm pretty lost that looks like a good place to live like it's not really closed mining is super tired what is that? I think that's the cavern. <laughs> you found like a cavern uh, built into the mountain. Huh. Oh, there's another cavern. Small one with a air seed. <laughs> ah, I didn't see my health. Oh, no! my God. <laughs> I didn't see that coming either. <laughs> no! You died while My sleeping. Notes. <laughs> and you did not My get notes. to show the notes. Well, I guess this is a roguelike. So <laughs> this is first stupid death. Uh, <laughs> no! And I found a tortux! You... <laughs> And it was two of us, and we did not notice that you were slowly dying. I am holding the chat accountable. No one <laughs> told me I was about to die. <laughs> well, it was not their responsibility. Are you saying it was my responsibility? I don't know. I mean, you're you're leading the streaming. <laughs> I'm just here commenting and. And talking with people. <laughs> yes, it was your responsibility, 100%. That was ha that's what happens when you don't sleep comfortably by a campfire. Oh, I refuse to take. <laughs> Oh! Awesome. Found food. I mean, I love Builder. Now I think I'm being overly cautious <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm not taking naps outside of my bed actually I believe but just making sure that you have a campfire should be enough the bed oh, is a plus. natural cave so oh, and this seems big so, let's see what we can find it's pretty big Also pretty dark. <laughs> yeah, I need to make several campfires. By the way, let me make a note. I will try to guess what your note is. Do you want us to add torches or something like that? Light sources? Yes, but that <laughs> wasn't my note. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. It has to do with the flint stuff. Okay. That reminds me that we are also planning... Uh, I mean, it's hard because we have a lot of plans for this game. And I don't know how this happened, because this project was dead for a couple of years. And now it's suddenly alive. 
but yeah, we're trying to organize what we want to do. And some of the stuff that we're adding is minerals that you can find in the caverns and that you can use to craft stuff. But I guess, yeah, it's gotta be one thing at a time. And for now, the priority has been farming and being able to, cro to grow your crops and make some recipes to eat. I refuse to end this stream without showing at least one note. The animal capture sound. Actually, uh, I gotta mention here that this, the sounds of the game, the entire um, audio of the game is made by Quiet Gecko, and um, it, I guess, it's also it also caught him by surprise that we revived this. Uh, but all the sounds that you hear, most of the sounds were made for the initial version of the Seven Day Roguelite Challenge. So, so that is why there is a single sound. <laughs> to capture uh, or a single voice for the animals but I, I I am sure he will love to create voices for each one of these um, when he gets some time to work back into the game um, and yeah in general like uh, for all the new environments that we are planning to add ah, ah there you have it <laughs> so this first so let's see ah this is a hunting cabin okay so hi fellow hunter did you know you can catch animals and release them one would think that's common knowledge but some people whatever what you need to do is get next to the animal and catch it most animals move fast so don't rush which is what i've been doing <laughs> And take your time to plan your movement, which isn't what I have been doing. <laughs> also, watch out. Some animals may be aggressive. Remember, you can always lay traps and lure animals. This is a future feature. Uh, this game is made in JavaScript. Mm. When you catch an animal you've never seen, remember to take notes of it in your own journal, which we have been doing. Make sure to look out for my notes. Okay, let's... So, yeah, that, that note was not a very lore-revealing, right? It was mostly yeah. of a hint. Also, it makes... Uh, it's integrated to the... To the plot but i believe that we also have scattered some notes that are more like hints for the gameplay see if i can find another cabin super fast i will Is keep track my... of your health <laughs> so you don't die <laughs> um, it will be good yes, to have now some... i can hold you responsible <laughs> That's the border of the map, the hills. Hmm. As you can see, we are completely alone in the woods, which is by design. However, as you also saw, people used to live here. When that's to be discovered by the player. Why they did they leave? That's also to be discovered by the player.
What is that? That's oh, a runcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was some of the other more unique animals that you can find. I'm going to leave it, leave in peace. Because for now... Yeah, it's like a massive marsupial, I believe. Find a cabin. Actually, I believe the runchas are like based on a local animal of Colombia called the... What's the name of that animal? I, need, I will need to look it up. That's a uh, Sariguella. 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 Opossum? Opossum? I guess that's how they call it in English. Which apparently are different animals than possums. <laughs> Fun. No, I, I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to go to sleep there in the woods. So just lay there in the woods. We should be fine. You're still full health. Yeah, ignore that. Ah, uh, so I saw walls and I got so excited. <laughs> no luck. Oh. oh, this is a pretty big open field. Yeah, this, it's likely to be cabins in the plains, in the open field. But not this time, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I guess maybe we can explore that part in the next. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> in the next. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so let's hope this one's more interesting. <laughs> Dear Dr. Kennedy, regarding your questions about the water needs of our new vegetable species, I must tell you that most can store water inside their leaves for a long time. This allows them to survive without the need of watering them. However, some species didn't have such successful splicing and required water canals to grow. Said species are the ones dubbed by the test subjects as red rice and sweet stick. I'll be happy to answer any other inquiries. Yours, Dr. Glass. Okay, so it seems some people or organization we're making some experiments here. Yes, it is a tip, but it also is telling us important information about the lore. It's allowing us to, well, think of why is it that we find oblurin seeds, hibiscus seeds, isnium seeds instead of, I don't know, blackberries and apples also fun how completely by chance i mean that note was referring to the red rice and, and it found. was actually spawned there <laughs> yeah. yeah that was completely designed not random at all <laughs> yeah yeah it seems they did Seems they did indeed. Okay, so that's all the time we have for now. Please check out our social networks. We, you can follow us on Twitter at, at slashware int. That's at slashware i n t. And you can also find us on YouTube and you'll have to excuse me don't worry about that i'm going to post this well the usual name is is the slash for interactive i'm going to post the links here also in the chat okay awesome we make streams every wednesday 
and Friday. So, please be sure to check it out. Thank you, Berserker. Thank you, Kenta. Every Thank single you. stream, we showcase new features. So, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, uh, on Twitch, sorry, too. Ah, oh, well, Twitter, too, of course, so you can get the notifications. Yeah, I agree. These are lovely graphics. And they have evolved a great deal. The idea is for players to be able to mod them. This runs on top of an ASCII engine. But you can exchange sprite sheets. And we have been discussing the possibility of adding animated sprites. Support for animated sprites. Well, with that, I bid you farewell. And I hope I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. See you later.